Yes, what up guys? What up a light of the soul? What up carriers of internal grace? It's your man immortality done again. I'm here. I'm here to say how you're doing. Good to relate again. How are you once more? And I am here because two hours ago the men of the downtown just stepped out of my house. The men of the downtown just stepped out of my house and they had a conversation with me that was quick. And before you can continue with this video, please don't forget to comment on this, share it, share it, because a vital, not only information, vital impartation is going to be released to you and then don't forget importantly before you start this video make sure you write your name i mean what is your indigenous name as a black race as an entity who is in contact with the earth the melanated spirit what is your indigenous name and tell us the meaning i didn't say Give us a scientific meaning, or if you want to call the spiritual, because we are used to that. Give us a spiritual, spiritual, scientific meaning of your name. My name is Naimeka, meaning that the father who does great things. And I came to a time when I realized I meant more than that. And I decided to change my name to Ajachiro Karusi, meaning a sacrifice that was offered to a great deity. And that's who I am. Put your name down and tell us the meaning of your name because this is how we're going to comment and converse as we progress. I say that the men of the downtown left my house two hours ago with a serious impartation and they drop on my table and that is this. Your name is the strongest tower that you run in and be safe. Your name. I didn't say the name of the Lord or the name of Jesus. No, 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 no. no. Your name. Your name is the strongest tower that you run inside your name and you are safe your safety is a function of the name that you are carrying all right how do i gonna start this it was heavy okay they came and they were asking me can i explain to them the meaning of name name in all our indigenous languages it was like a lay hand on i'm an uh, ancient man the Igbo tribe and we say that name means aha or alpha does that ring any bell to you yes so when they came and they asked me do you know what is alpha alpha is just like when you say alpha and omega but this is the different it is in our own spiritual diagnosis when a child is born he is being presented to the expression of the deities because a newborn child is believed to be a deity carrying the full fullness of divineness arriving with every complete potential of spirituality no dent not that one that you told me in the bible that we are born in the sin of adam no 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 i was not born under any influence of stupid sin of adam i was born a complete divine being you understand so that's who i am and that's who you are so that's why when they stand in me you are those junks please try to throw those away i mean now it's going to be important because we are going to be naming our children and renaming them so when they ask me what is the meaning of name and i say it's alpha and not you see in when a child is born they are being brought it the course is being charted and when the court is being charted the course of this guy's life, his destiny, his career, whoever he's going to become, is being charted in the face of his parents. And that is called Ibafa. Does that make any sense to you? Ibafa means divination. So, as you all know, you're close to where I'm going now. In my dialect, Alpha or Alpha or Aha means divination. So in the ancient days, in the days of our old, they don't just call them. 
the the art of naming is an art of divination it is a spiritual process i'm going to be trying to be fast i don't want to take much of time it is a divine spiritual process so alpha means name so we say alpha means divination have spoken me to be so alpha mbo nemeka divination have spoken me to be so my name is a function of divination and today if you go to the yoruba tribe which i love so much i i i was tempted to go and and get some fat that will blow your mind as i say in the Igbo, alpha means alpha divination so that means you are a fullness of a divination so you don't just call your children anything thereby how many of us now do divination before we even call our children Oh, you call them all those names, precious, uh, and all those junks. But this is this is what we are going to deal with today because why? The earlier we come to understand it, the better for us. Because our children must be a complete factor, a complete embodiment of the name you have programmed them to be. They are technologies in the hand of the divines. And they shall come in the fulfillment of divine technologies. They are not just their carrying names, you know. I want to bring something to you. you. Just struck my head now. Listen, I want to pick it up from the Bible. When God in the Bible created Adam and every other thing he created according to the Bible from the day one to day six, he never named any. You understand? Uh huh. He never named any of them. So name calling was handed over to the fullness of the other called man, and in which Adam was standing in the office of man. And he received the mandate to call names. So Adam was not just calling names. I, I, I suppose I, you, you understand that there was no English in the Garden of Eden then. <laughs> there was no English in the Garden of Eden. There was no language like that. I knew something when I found here when I used to be a Bible scholar was the Son of God. So Adam was imparting not just calling them name like he called lion let me assume he spoke english he called lion he was not just only calling them he was impregnating into them their nature good that one took his nature he called stone he took his nature he called water he took his nature he called every creation was passing through the adam I wonder how many years that took. <laughs> but they made us understand that it just happened overnight and everybody took their names and everything began to be named. And I, I, I keep wondering which language were they speaking in the Garden of Eden? Nobody answered me. I didn't see any language. No Yoruba, no Igbo, no English, no Jew, no Greek. No even Egypt technology. There was no language. Let me keep their stuff for them. But I'm bringing a point that Adam was not only calling them. He was impregnating nature with their full nature. He was calling them and imparting in them their nature. That was impregnation. He was setting them up to take the fullness of the divine nature they came with. So that they can come into full manifestation and become actualizable as a technology, as a product factor. So this is what naming is all about. Okay, so the Yoruba, I love this. The Yoruba, in the Yoruba, I want to read out this from a friend. He said, Yoruba word for name is Oruko. Right, Oruko. Oruko is one of the 16 sacred spiritual essence. Is one of the 16, is one of the 16 sacred spiritual organ that make up your total being and Uruko must have a meaning reflecting your spiritual essence it is not just a name in the european european essence but a spiritual word of power okay now i don't want to go too far because in ifa or ifology i wish today somebody my my friend let me know that today in harvard university that ifa as a course now if do or the study of a phallogram or ephology, which is the founding father of every statistics and computer and computation. Now it's being studied 
as a course in Harvard University. <laughs> what do you think about that? These people are coming to Africa to learn in foul do and now use it in the essence of their program and spiritual progression. And we are in Africa who receive it directly from our ancestors and we don't even know how to make use of them. Oh, ah, white black man, black man, black man. Now let me go to what my brother said when I was making research. Uh, Barry, my brother, he, he just blew my mind. He said, in Yoruba, Oru, which is Oru, Oruko, right? Oruko, which is name. So Oruko has two words. Oru, which means sky or deities. Then Ko means giving, ascribe and written. So Oruko is ascribed or given by the deities. You understand? Now, the men of the downtown came and they were bringing to my knowledge. Do you understand this spiritual essence of what is called naming? And now I have come to, in my own, is if alpha, which means alpha, iba alpha, divination. That is integrating yourself to the nature of the deities and the deities giving you a nature that is divine calling you by their own identification not one pastor that wear one suit who has no knowledge of divinity you understand what i'm talking about now so naming is very very deep so what name you answer now please write it there your indigenous name and give us the definition so that we want to start learning and renaming or relearning if you find out that your name you've been carrying has been that brainwash and whitewash to name they call you out of the church and Catholic church and Romans then please it's time to drop all those things because it might be a factor that is retarding you you might not carry that speed and potential which your real indigenous spiritual identification from the deity is supposed to have propelled you and you are answering Thomas and you are still Thomas in arguing that has been the logic but when you answer Chuku BK, when you answer names that are very powerful, like I, I love Yoruba names. I'm I'm sorry. You know when you see a a a Bekunle one born during the holiday. I mean that is funny. You know you see you see you see Abiade one who is born of a royal parents. Abidemi a girl born during father's absence. They have divine powerful meanings. Abioye son of royalty you see chukwu ebuka that the deity that the essence of divine is, is very powerful now he is telling me and my friend that is making me to understand here that in in in, in essence in essence that naming is very powerful in yoruba land and that's why they don't play it you get me right now in in a jaw it also means something very unique it means it, it, it means an expression of self which means error self error it's also the same thing when you talk about the egyptian rain so what is the meaning of name name in your own dialect and what is the spiritual impartation or reality behind it you see, one time I was go, I was witnessing a naming ceremony in the Igbo land and Igbo culture, someplace in Anambra State. I was in Lagos before I went, and I witnessed what we call naming ceremony today, which we do uh, fanatically, stupidly, and religiously in homes. And when you bring those eight days, you bring those pastors, and they'll come and throw baby and call it, ah, this baby shall be called Andrew, Andrew the Giant, oh, Andrew the Giant, oh, and hallelujah, it's called Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, but they watch stupid people. I was watching this naming ceremony. When the child was born, there was no name. Parents refuse to identify the child yet until they are waiting for the chief head. One who is aligned with the principles of their deities. When the man arrived, he carried the baby. I saw that video. I saw that video in Facebook. And that video touched me so much. He carried the baby so much. He praised the essence of his spiritual potency that the child was carrying. He praised <laughs> this deity, this child. After praising this deity, he he with chalk, you know, local chalk. Mm -hmm. So 
he blessed the earth he blessed the four market days he blessed the four market weeks you know I, I, he blessed bless the essence of the spirituality that exists in his father's house and then finally he take water he took water from the cup brought out from the house he put the water up in a zinc on top of the roof and the water returned and he fed the baby with the water that was returning and the water returned from the up from the sky and you see this baby was named from the realm of the sky and the water poured in the face of the baby and the baby cried and then his name was pronounced the essence i had my baby one of my baby that i had one of my girls that i had my woman will bear me witness and when that baby was in the womb for like three months in my house not even yet i was in nigeria a strange elegant looking gorgeous beautiful woman a woman of the past an ancient looking woman visited me oh my god time of the essence i'm gonna make this story short and i'm gonna continue the next video okay he visited me and told me that she is the one that is coming to me she told me and i saw her in the deep of the morning like 3 a.m standing beside my bed i have been a medium for long you know what you want to hear more about this this my story and much about naming you're gonna join me in the next video because I don't want to pass 16 minutes not to bore you, please. Okay, I'm gonna stop here now. I know you, yeah, you're gonna hear more about it, but please put down your name here and the meaning of your name. Put put it down, please. Just we want it. We want our generation to learn so that we can begin to learn how to rename our children and the essence of naming. Okay, and don't forget share this, comment on this, like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Any moment from now is gonna drop. I love you. This is immortality done and 